With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. As inflation and other economic issues may be stretching most Americans' budgets, Southern Baptist pastors may be feeling the pinch more than most. A study conducted by Lifeway Research along with Guidestone and Baptist State Conventions found compensation for full-time Southern Baptist senior pastors has remained flat over the past four years. Well, the total pay package has actually decreased. While the Consumer Price Index has jumped 17.6% from 2018 to 2022, compensation, which includes salary and housing, has increased two-tenths of a percent for full-time senior pastors at Southern Baptist churches during the same period. Their pay package, which includes compensation plus any retirement or insurance, fell 2.1%. Additionally, one in five Protestant pastors say financial stress is one of the greatest concerns they have in ministry. Even as President Biden continues to make attempts to release the pressure of inflation and the threat of a recession, at least one analyst believes the road to economic recovery will be long. David Spica, chief investment officer at Guidestone, told Baptist Press that he believes the nation is headed for a recession. He says Americans should keep in mind that even though recessions are very difficult periods of time, they are normal and healthy when it comes to the economic cycle. He says the national economy usually experiences some form of a recession every five to seven years, but there hasn't been one since 2008. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. State bans on abortion continue to take effect while the clinics that perform the lethal procedure against preborn children continue to decline two months after the U.S. Supreme Court reversed the Roe v. Wade decision. Laws took effect Thursday in Idaho, Tennessee, and Texas to bring 14 as the number of states that have enacted prohibitions on either all abortions except those to protect the life of the mother or on those when a fetal heartbeat can be detected. That's according to the Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America Foundation. Three nearly total abortion bans are scheduled to take effect soon, and six others are awaiting court decisions, according to the organization. 62 abortion clinics have halted their procedures recently. That's according to Operation Rescue. Read the full story at BaptistPress.com.